Hi everyone, I am Satwik of class 9, Silver Hills Public School. Today I will be discussing the first part of the chapter, Fundamental Unit of Light. Now let us discuss about the discovery of cell. Cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. This discovery was the greatest discovery in the history of science. What did he do? He examined a thin slice of cork that resembled to honeycomb having little compartments. He named these little compartments as cell. Discovery of living cell. In 1674, Leuven Hawk discovered free living cells in the pond water with the help of an improved microscope. Here we can see the picture of the improved microscope that he used for his discovery. Further studies led to the formation of cell theory. Who proposed it? It was proposed by Scleden and Schwann. Cell theory states that every organisms are made up of cell. Cell is the basic unit of life. Cell. What is cell? It is the fundamental unit of life that is the smallest functional unit of life. It independently performs all the functions necessary to sustain life. All new cells come from a pre-existing cell. Types of cell. Cells are classified into two types on the basis of number of cells present in an organism. They are unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Now let us discuss about the multicellular organisms. These organisms are made up of more than one cell. They normally have different kinds of cells in their body. Some examples of them are human beings. Now let us look at the pictures of different kinds of cells present in a human being. They are blood cell, nerve cell, muscle cell, sperm cell, egg cell and bone cell. Unicellular organisms. These organisms are made up of single cell. Some examples of them are paramecium, amoeba and bacteria. Kinds of cell. Cells are classified into three types on the basis of their size. PPLO that is pleuropneumonia like organisms which is also known as mycoplasma is the smallest cell. Largest cell an ostrich egg. The nerve cell which is present in a human body is the longest cell. Structural organization of cell. Every cell contains a cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. Cell membrane which is also known as plasma membrane is the outermost covering of the cell. It separates the content of cell from its external environment. It is a selectively permeable membrane. Cells permeability. It permits the entry and exit of materials selectively. It also prevents the movement of materials. That's the reason why it is known as selectively permeable membrane. Diffusion. This is an entirely different topic. Now we are going to discuss about diffusion. It is a spontaneous movement of materials from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower concentration. Mechanism of diffusion in plant cell. Gases like carbon dioxide or oxygen move across the cell membrane by the process of diffusion. Here in this picture we can see the red particles represent gases. They pass through the cell membrane into the cell. Osmosis. Like diffusion, osmosis is an another process. It is a tendency of a fluid, usually water, to pass from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration through the semi-permeable membrane. Hypertonic solution. Now we are going to discuss about three types of solution. They are hypertonic solution, hypertonic and isotonic solutions. Hypertonic solution. A medium surrounding the cell has higher water concentration than the cell, then the cell gains water by the process of osmosis. These medium are known as hypertonic solution. Endosmosis. The process of water entering into the cell is known as endosmosis. During endosmosis, cell swells. Here we can see the picture of dry resins soaked in water. After some time we can observe that they increases in size. Hypertonic solution. A medium surrounding the cell has lower water concentration than the cell. 
then cell loses water by the process of osmosis. Such a medium is known as hypertonic solution. Exosmosis, process of water moving out from the cell is known as exosmosis. During exosmosis, cell shrinks. Here we can see the picture of grapes soaked in salt solution. What happened here? After some time we can observe that they shrink. This is due to the process of exosmosis that is water inside the cell moves out to the medium. Isotonic solution. A medium surrounding the cell has same water concentration of the cell. Therefore, neither from the cell nor from the medium water moves. Such a medium is known as isotonic solution. Cell wall. As the name represents, it is a wall around the cell. It is the outermost covering of the cell. It is rigid, semi-elastic and semi-transparent. It is seen in plant cell, fungi and prokaryotes. In plant cell, they are made up of cellulose. In fungi, they are made up of fungal cellulose and chitin. Cell wall. Here we can see the picture of plant cell. The outermost covering is the cell, cell wall and the inner covering is the cell membrane. Functions of cell wall. Cell wall provides shape to the cell. It provides mechanical strength to the cell. It protects against pathogens and mechanical injuries. By this, I am winding up this section. Hope all of you enjoyed. Meet you till then. Bye. Thank you.